the warpath and Maya's about to find out just what she's capable of in Shortland Street. I'm serious. I think you have a drinking problem. I can assure you, I do not have a drinking problem. The beating heart of the hospital, where lives hang in the balance and death is cheated. Dad. Sorry. Cubicles one, two and three. We like to keep it simple for the older members of the staff. I have been here before, you know. Oh, yes, but now you're seeing it through my eyes. This is Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Pains in your stomach? BP? 85 over 50. OK. Straight through to recess, please. Come on, you two. Now, is it sore here or here? <laughs> is my baby all right? Are you pregnant? I was getting my V-line in. Well, we can't assure Lucy, but again, your intense abdominal cramps, it might be a big topic of pregnancy. I'm going to give you something for pain relief now, Lucy. No, that's when the egg is fertilised outside the uterus, inside the fallopian tube, okay? We'll need a scan to be sure. Sean! Is he your partner? Wait in room. Can you go and get a place? And a surgical consult? It's all right. It's all right. You're okay. Just take a deep breath. Is that actually a tune, or are you taking up a career in jazz? <laughs> I'm just happy. You sound like a woman in love. Do you enjoy my art? I'd uh, like to change Mr. Fox's dressings. No, Kendo. Sorry, Dr. Campbell's old school. Gauze, combine. Which are fine, except that we need something which is more absorbent. Sorry, I'm with you, but God and Dr. Campbell, they are like this. <laughs> I know where to question their wisdom. <laughs> Surgical. No, Dr. Campbell isn't here. Yes, I'll take a message. Mr. Galvari, transfer before six. Yes, the great doctor will call you back. Do you have to do that? Like you could do housework in your state. I bet I do way less than you. Hey, champagne time. Ah, oh, terrific. That should finish you off completely. Ignore prune face. What are we celebrating? I think Madame Lush should sober up before she starts drinking again. I had lunch with Mum. I had one glass of champagne. Shock horror! When I have one glass, I don't stagger about like the town drunk. Well, I'm sure it's not that bad. Am I being called a liar? No, She's I'm She's only been this way since you two got together, buddy. Ignore my mother! Are you okay? I'm fine. So it was an ectopic pregnancy? Correct. So will she be alright? Well, there are three factors. Scarring, making her more liable to ectopics. Time to allow healing. And time to grieve the loss of the pregnancy. I wish I could have seen the operation. Well, we could always ask Ingrid if she could sit in on our pain. Yes? Well, I can't see Queen Ingrid granting an audience, can you? Well, there's nothing to lose by asking. Thank you so much, Sarah. <laughs> Scarlett, got a good one for you. Snake bite. That's it. Absolutely. Can I? Can I stop you? <laughs> I'm glad she's getting to see you in action. I think she might have found a new role model. Ooh, Sarah Potts, doctor and role model. Nice. And it was a good idea to spend more time with her. Thanks for that. Mm, my pleasure. Now, are you ready for my next great idea? Uh-oh. <clears throat> One way that families have fun is to have what is called a holiday. Right, he does. 
holiday. <laughs> Come on, we could go away, we could have fun, we could be a happy little family. What do you think? That's a crazy idea, Sarah. Yeah, maybe just crazy enough to work, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, have you actually been offered a job? An interview in Sydney. How long will you be away? Oh, uh, a few days. Why can't you come back on the same day? Well, it's not a straight interview. You know, a lunch here, a chat there, sun each other out. What if you get the job? You'll be in Sydney. Or here. It is a global company. Well, it's good news people are interested in you, I guess. It is. Though I'm a bit worried about leaving you behind, though. Me? Why? You've been drinking on top of your benzos again. Mum! She was like, just one, come on. It's just, if you're leaning on pills to help you get you through the day... It's just to get through this little hump. To help me sleep. Well, promise me that's all you'll use them for. I promise. Mm. Justine, do you know anything about a Mr. Calvary? Well, isn't he... One of England's? Yeah, and she was supposed to give them the okay to transfer him, but she never got back to them. <laughs> That's England. Good on the big stuff. Bad on detail. Is he fixed? No, it means he'll have to wait another week, which puts us down a bit. It's not your fault. No, but I have to tell him and his family. You want me to give Ingrid a friendly boot up the backside? Oh, it's okay. I get on all right with her. <laughs> Hey, how was your work experience? Oh, awesome. Dad and Sarah are amazing. This girl comes in, major pain, big mystery, then bang, they're onto it. Wow. Yeah, and once they saved her, there's this heart attack guy and this kid with asthma, and Sarah's just totally calm. Give this, do that. Sounds like you had fun. Yeah, next Sarah wants to try to get me into theatre. Neat. Hey, thanks again for letting me job shadow here. Oh, my pleasure. I hope it helps you decide on a career. I'm decided. I want to specialise in obstetrics and emergency care. Like, uh, Sarah? Uh, yeah, I, I guess, I don't know. No, I think it's great. Medicine is a terrific profession. Yeah, nothing else compares. Everything else is just... Oh, I've got to go. I'll see you. Bye. Right. How would we handle who you? What? We just walk into her office and tell her. Oh, yeah, hi. Uh, me and Sarah, your only seniors in ED, we're going on a holiday together. Now, you haven't got a hope in hell of replacing us, but hey, good luck. Exactly. Oh, looking forward to that conversation. Well, if we don't make a point of holidaying together now, then when will we? Mm. Yeah, fair call. Mm. So, the only real question is, where do we go? Oh, lie on a beach somewhere? Mm -hmm. Or we could do one of those ten-day meditation retreats where you eat nothing but rice. Mm. And monks hit you with sticks. Well... Tough choice. Mm. Sorry I'm late. Did you save your snake bite victim? Uh huh. Well, hey, Doctor, take a seat and please explain this snake bite victim. Well, the guy is an Aussie farmer, right? Uh, I know this one, and the punchline is no. You get your own sheep. <laughs> go on. Just before he goes to go on holiday, he walks into a shed and feels something hit him on the back of the leg. He thought it was just a stick. Well, I know Aussies aren't the sharpest knives in the drawer, but really. Well, apparently you don't always know. Anyway, on the plane he starts going off. They think he's drunk and arrest him at Auckland Airport. He says he's never going on a holiday ever again. Mm. Ah, speaking of which... Mm. Uh, if we were to put the words holiday, you, us, and hugely expensive in the same sentence, how would you feel? Add the words no school for a month, and I'm there. Mm. Oh, really? <laughs> Mr. Levin's had a better day today. We reviewed his insulin range. Excuse me, why is Mr. Calvary still here? They were waiting for us to okay the transfer. They didn't get it. Well, why didn't they? Well, it's up to you. The surgical team. Well, I need to be informed first. And I wasn't. If there's a hitch, I expect you to sort it out or let me know. I realise that, but... Good. Um... Because Calvary is taking up a bed needed by other patients. I have to reschedule my list. And someone booked for surgery now can't have it. I'm aware of the inconvenience, but in this case... It is not inconvenient. It's a bloody shambles and no way to run a ward. 